So the STEM camp idea came together when we were working with CapTech and the technology that we can bring to the game and how we can incorporate that more. It's great to play golf, but it's a great industry for people to get more engaged with if you're not a professional golfer. I started playing golf when I was eight years old and we didn't have this. And also I'm, I'm coming from Argentina and like we definitely don't have um, all this technology available for everyone. Um, maybe it's just for a specific group of golfers having the opportunity to, you know, kind of play around, have trackman, uh, the punning lab, the different professionals um, that they came and they, you know, talk about like the different opportunities on tour. Yeah, this is something that not a lot of people get to see done. They do it. If you ever watch golf on TV, they do it. They do it there. Every golf course across the country does it. Now there's different tools, but at the end of the day, they're all pretty similar. So, and so many people that I've talked to just think that STEM is just like an impossible subject for them. They think like they've never been great with computers or technology. And so they think like they can never go into any field involving any STEM. And maybe some of these kids that are coming out here playing golf um, might feel like that, right? But what they don't realize is that so much STEM is incorporated into, into everybody's daily lives. Uh, and so these kids that are coming out to play golf, by bringing out the STEM aspects that are already in there, they realize that they can have careers in STEM and they can pursue things around science, technology, engineering, or mathematics. You can look at TrackMan as the main shot tracer of the PGA Tour right now. And that crew itself is 50, 60 people deep every tournament. And they get to see the best players in the world every weekend for four days, get to see the best shots, get to see the shots that don't make TV that might not be the best, um, but they're on the golf course and enjoying it. And oftentimes they get to play that course before or after the tournament or some of the local courses that they wouldn't normally travel out to see. The Cab Tech Innovation Center is just like one of the greatest things I've ever seen happen to a golf course. It really brings everything together because we have the space that we would normally use for a program room for participants to do indoor lessons, talk about different core values, and then in the room over we have a putting table um, that we can change the degree on and play games on uh, with a projector. And it's just um, an amazing bridge between the two worlds, I feel like. While we look at the technology aspect, there is a backside of golf that is absolutely critical. When you look at golf course architecture, there's not a lot of successful golf course architects out there. So having the idea of drawing your own and design your own golf course or golf hole really gives an opportunity for them to see what golf course architecture could be. So the kids designing that can spark an interest and show another avenue within golf to build a future career and a life on in the future. Regardless if you play golf or if you don't play golf, uh, golf is, a, is an industry that provides jobs, opportunities. I got so many opportunities through golf. It, it, it's important for them to open the door and explore and see what they like or what they don't like. There's so much on the horizon for golf, especially when you look at the, the periphery, if we'll say, to the game. And through science, technology, engineering, mathematics, it's, it's a world that's gonna continue to grow and continue to be just a wonderful space to stay in.